decades of sci-fi telling us that AI is eventually going to kill us all. What does keep you up at night? I think there's three scary categories. There's a bad guy gets super intelligence first and misuses it before the rest of the world has a powerful enough version to defend. So a, an adversary of the U.S. says, going to use this super intelligence to design a bioweapon to take down the United States power grid, to you know, break into the financial system and take everyone's money. That's category, broad category one. And I think that the bio capability of these models, the cybersecurity capability of these models, these are getting quite significant. You know, we continue to like flash the warning lights on this. I think the world is not taking us seriously. I don't know what else we can do there, but it's like this is a very big thing coming. Category two is the sort of broadly called loss of control incidents, where the that's kind of like the sci-fi movie. The AI is like, oh, I don't actually want you to turn me off. I'm afraid I can't do that. You know, whatever. There's a lot of work we and other companies do on model alignment to prevent that from happening. But as these systems become so powerful, uh, that's a real concern. The third one is, to me, difficult, more difficult to imagine, but quite scary. And I'll, I'll explain what it is, and then I'll give a short-term and a long-term example. This is the category where the models kind of accidentally take over the world. They never wake up. They never do the sci-fi thing. They never open the pod bay doors. But they just become so ingrained in society, and they're so much smarter than we are. And we can't really understand what they're doing but we do kind of have to rely on them. And even without a drop of malevolence from anyone, society can just veer in a sort of strange direction. But this phenomenon, I think, is a really big deal. In the short term, you can see it where people maybe, we call this emotional over-reliance. People rely on ChatGPT too much. There's young people who just say like, I can't make any decision in my life without telling ChatGPT everything that's going on. It knows me, it knows my friends, I'm gonna do whatever it says. That feels really bad to me. The longer term category is what if AI gets so smart that the president of the United States cannot do better than following ChatGPT 7's recommendation? That might be the right decision in any individual case, but it means that society has like collectively transitioned a significant part of decision making to this very powerful system that is learning from us, improving for us, evolving with us, but in ways we don't totally understand. So, that's the third category of how I think things can go wrong.